I am P V Ramana, J L in English, T S R J C Sarwell. Today in this session, we are looking at the part two of describing a process. This topic is given in the interactive English prescribed for intermediate students of Telangana. It can be seen in module five under unit 20 at page 241. This topic is included under composition. It is the 16th question in the question paper. There is internal choice for this question. A credit of four marks is allotted for this question. In this session, let us discuss what composition is, what is describing a process, and the tips that are to be followed for generating a cohesive paragraph. Some model presentations are taken for this session. All these exercises are taken from the prescribed reader only. Hints have been given for some of the topics, but Hints will not be given in the examination. Now, let us uh, go for a brief uh, recap. What is uh, in the previous session, in the part one, we discussed uh, what is uh, a composition, what is a process, and uh, how to describe a process, and what are the important points that are to remember and uh, different connectors and all those things uh, uh, were discussed in the previous session. Now, in this session, we are going to talk about some models uh, that are given in our textbook. Let me talk about what is a composition. A composition is the way, in the literary sense, a composition is the way a writer assembles words and sentences to create a coherent and meaningful work. What is a process? A process can be defined as a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. The Steps have to be performed in a sequence for the successful completion of the task. Here it is given. Composition means to put together. That means the writer assembles words and sentences to create a coherent and meaningful work. Process series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. The steps have to be performed in a sequence that is very important for the successful completion of the task. When you come to how to describe your process, what are the important points uh, we have to remember, you see? Description of a series of events following time order. That is very important. What is the first, second, third, fourth, like that. Sequence of actions or chain of actions should be in, in, in a sequence. And while describing a process, avoid giving unnecessary information. You see, most process writings are written in second person. Use of passive and imperatives as you are showing how to carry out the process. Generally, we use time order words like first, firstly, next, uh, after that, like that, secondly, thirdly, thirdly, like that. And we use, uh, yes, we, we are not going to give the instructions or we are not going to write point-wise. Actually, uh, 
uh, we are not giving numbered points we are bringing them into a cohesive paragraph when you are bringing the sentences together in the form of a cohesive paragraph linkers or connectors are very important to link sentences together we use connectors like while when as as soon as after before all these are connectors and but all are connectors connectors and one more thing pay attention to details what are the important details? details what are the important points that so this is uh, uh, some important points uh, we have to remember uh, when we are uh, uh, making an attempt to describe the process here let me give you an idea about connectors connectors are nothing but linkers and you can call them conjunctions also and but so to or else all these are connectors normally yes we know these things but just i want to put them under separate headings generally to bring contrast between things we use connectors like but however on the other hand unlike otherwise in spite of despite though although these are the connectors that can help us when we want to bring some contrast when you want to talk about a contrast of things when you when you want to uh, lay emphasis on the contrast between two things we can use these connectors when you come to the next point cause and effect therefore because generally you use this uh, therefore yes when you are solving a problem when you are uh, uh, doing a uh, sum uh, generally we use this word therefore cause and effect therefore because so like that when you talk about of sequence after before later next finally at first in the end these are connectors generally we use when we see, when we make a sequence or when we link the sentences together in a proper sequence when a proper sequence is to be maintained if you want to maintain sequence yes we use these words to connect the sentences when you talk about the purpose of doing something we use connectors like in order to so that and so on when you talk about opinions you can use phrases like i think i assume i suppose to be frank yes all these are uh, uh, some connectors when you go for comparison when you are when you want to go, uh, uh, go for a comparison that means comparing two things Uh, when you go for a uh, comparison between two things in the same way as 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 if equally like yes these are the connectors we use them uh, to compare uh, sentence uh, to, to, to bring a comparison between two things okay so these are connectors these connectors will help you to generate a cohesive paragraph here in this session actually all these points were discussed in the earlier session but now in this session i want to concentrate on some of the textual exercises let me uh, show you the slide yeah. write a paragraph textual exercises write a paragraph of about 100 words on each of the following topics hints have been given for some of the topics but will not be given in the examination this is more this is a, a, an important idea you will not be supplied hints in the examination 
Okay. Now let us take the first uh, exercise. Describe how Sandhya drew 500 rupees from an ATM. You don't know what is an ATM. Automated teller machine. That is the uh, ATM. Okay, there is a title. Look at the title, Drawing Money from an ATM. This is our, this is the title given for this passage or paragraph. Sandhya went to a nearby ATM to withdraw 500 rupees. She first inserted her ATM card in the machine. Next, she selected the option showing select your language that appeared on the screen. Later, she used the keypad to enter the four digit secret pin. Then she selected the select your transaction. She got many options on the display such as withdrawal, transfer, balance, inquiry, and, and so on. Then she selected the option withdrawal. After that, the option account type is displayed on the screen. She selected the button savings account. Next, the option withdrawal was displayed on the screen. She entered 500 rupees and waited for cash to be dispensed. Later, she collected the money from the lower slot of the machine. She collected cash, receipt, and ATM card. Finally, she pressed the button cancel and came out of the room. So this is the process. So what are the steps that are involved? Just, uh, I would like to show you. Yes, uh, it, actually, uh, you can present this information in a flow chart also. Developing a flow chart is totally different from generating a paragraph. So I want to show you the flow chart. Actually, that this flow chart is given in the reader at page 56. I want to show that flow chart. Drawing money from the ATM. Go to any ATM, insert your debit card in the card slot of the ATM. Select banking from the services displayed on the screen. Select a language from those displayed on the screen. Enter your four digit pin covering the pad such, as, such that the digits typed are not visible to others. Because pin is very confidential. It is very important. Pin, P-I-N, personal identification number, pin. Select withdrawal from the transaction options displayed on the screen. Next action is select whether from current account or from savings account. Enter the amount to be withdrawn in figures and select yes if it is the right amount. Select yes if you want a printed advice. Collect the cash from the cash dispenser slot. Collect the receipt and also your ATM card. So the entire process is given in the shape of a flow chart. But actually, here the task given is describing a process in the form of a paragraph. So if you want to describe these series of actions in a paragraph, you need the help of connectors and the sentence, yes, there should be a proper sentence formation is also needed. If sentences are not framed correctly, yes, yes, it may not reach the readers. So you should be very careful about framing of sentences, sequencing your ideas, maintaining a sequence between the steps, and uh, a grammatical correctness should also be there. So these are the points you have to remember.
yes this uh, exercise is given in your textbook now let us make an attempt uh, uh, on another topic that is uh, write down the procedure to apply an aadhar card so there is a title look apply for an aadhar card applying for an aadhar card is an easy process first go to an authorized aadhar enrollment center near you with all the necessary documents like a photo id card ration card passport size photo and address proof as as address proof like electricity bill water bill telephone bill etc after that fill the aadhar card application with all the details at the center after submitting the application form they will enroll the application form and take your photo id proof fingerprints and iris scan you will be given an acknowledgement slip which will help you keep a check on the status of your application after the successful verification an sms or email will be sent to you then you will get aadhar card within 60 to 90 days so this is the process you have to observe or you have to follow for applying an aadhar card let me read the process again first go to an authorized aadhar enrollment center near you with all necessary documents like photo id card ration card passport size photo and address proof this is very important address proof yes as an address proof you can take a, a water bill or electricity bill or telephone bill okay after that fill the aadhar card application with all the details at the center at the aadhar center aadhar enrollment center after submitting the application form they will enroll the application they will enroll the application form take your photo id proof and fingerprints and id scan you will be given an acknowledgement slip which will help you keep a check on the status of your application how far it has been done yes after successful verification an sms or email will be sent to you okay as it will be sent to a notification will be sent to you uh, sent to you on mobile then you will get aadhar card within 60 to 90 days so this is the process actually if you want to present the same process in the flow chart but in the examinations you cannot present a flow chart because yes you have to present that uh, uh, these ideas in a paragraph that is very important just actually all these flow charts are given in your textbook now i would like to show you the flow chart that is given at page 55 in your textbook okay right applying for an aadhar card look at this what are the steps involved in applying for an aadhar card go to an go to any authorized aadhar enrollment in your town with your id and address proof that is first step second step take the free aadhar card application form at the center and fill it clearly and carefully because you have to give all your information so that should be given uh, properly okay the next step is when your turn comes get your fingerprints iris scan and photos taken the next step is submit your form after a final look correcting mistakes if any take the acknowledgement slip that is given and keep it carefully till you receive the aadhar card by post so these are the steps involved so the sequence is to be maintained okay that is very important the sequence that is the coherence should be maintained you know for uh, uh, making a task to uh, to reach uh, uh, to achieve a successful end to uh, achieve a successful uh, um, Uh, to accomplish the task in a successful manner just you have to follow the coherence that is very important okay actually the same sentences are given in the form of a paragraph first go to another 
authorized Aadhaar enrollment center near you with all the necessary documents like photo ID card, passport of a size photo, and address proof like electricity bill, water bill, telephone bill, etc. After that, fill the Aadhaar card application with all the details at the at the enrollment center. After submitting the application form, they will enroll the application form and take your photo. ID proof, fingerprints, and iris scan. You will be given an acknowledgement slip, which will help you keep a check on the status of your application. After successful verification, an SMS or email will be sent to you. Then you will get other card within 60 to 90 days. So that is uh, the way how we presented it in a paragraph. Uh, in that way, we can present uh, uh, this uh, uh, this flow chart uh, in a paragraph. Right. Now let us go to another uh, idea that is uh, describe, uh, what is it? Describe how to book a railway ticket. So booking a railway ticket, what is the title given? So title is very important because if you write uh, uh, a paragraph, if title is not given, so the reader has to read till the end uh, to get an idea of what the, the paragraph is about or what the passage is about. So uh, keep your title so that, uh, yes, it will it uh, helps the reader to get an idea. Booking a railway ticket, this is the title given here. Booking a railway ticket is an easy process. To book or reserve your railway tickets in advance, Go to the counter designated as a reservation counter at the railway station. Obtain an advanced ticket reservation from the counter. Then fill all the details such as name or names of passengers along with their age, date of journey, boarding and alighting stations, train number, time of journey, and so on. Before going to hand over your form at the counter, check once all the information given is correct. Then stand in the queue and wait. When your turn comes, hand over the application form along with fare. The official, the official, the official at uh, the counter will check the status and availability of seats and berths as per the given information and issue the tickets. The process of ticket booking is over. You have to carry those tickets at the time of travel along with the, any of your ID proof. So this is very important. So this is a booking a railway ticket. And I want to show it in the form of a flow chart. Yes, look at page, it is given in your textbook at page 57. Look at the flow chart, booking a railway ticket. Go to the railway station, railway station, reservation complex, that means the part, that particular block, and take a reservation form there. It is free, free of cost. It is available free of cost. You can take a reservation form from the counter. Check the availability of bills at the inquiry counter or at the computer monitors. Okay. Fill in the relevant details such as a train number and name, date of journey, boarding station, and destination means reaching point, class, first class, second class, that is beds and details of passengers. Just you have to give the um, name of the train also and number of the train. Stand in line and hand over the filled in form to the clerk behind the counter. Pay the required amount and take the ticket issued by the clerk. This is uh, uh, <clears throat> the process of uh, the, uh, the steps that are involved in booking a right ticket. So these are the steps you have to follow. When all these steps are uh, brought into a paragraph, just we need certain connectors. So that's uh, what we did earlier, what I showed earlier. So now I... Uh, Describe how to book a railway ticket. Look at the paragraph. Booking a railway ticket is an easy process. To book or reserve your railway tickets in advance, 
go to the counter designated as a reservation counter at the railway station or go to the reservation complex uh, at the railway station obtain an advance ticket reservation from the counter then fill all the details such as name or names of passengers along with their age date of journey boarding and alighting stations train number time of journey and so on before going to hand over your form at the counter check once all the information given is correct then stand in the queue and wait when your turn comes hand over the application form along with pay the official at the counter will check the status and availability of your seats and belts as per the given information and issue the tickets the process of ticket booking is over and you have to carry those tickets at the time of traveling at the time of your travel along with uh, any of your uh, id proof okay right this is the process actually it is given here in the form of your flow chart so what yes for the next one i am not going to show you uh, the flow charts uh, because just why the uh, flow charts are given here when a topic is given to the student first of all you have to develop a rough draft yes you have to make a rough draft uh, uh, bringing uh, all the steps that are involved in that process please write all the steps first that is to be done uh, 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 in the rough work, in the rough draft so in the rough draft just write all the steps the steps that are to be followed one by one check your steps and then make an attempt to bring all the steps in the form of a paragraph so for that sake only i have shown uh, all these uh, uh, these uh, flow charts right now let us go to another uh, task what is the task describe how one should prepare for the examination look at the title preparation for examinations this is very important and you know examinations play a crucial role and important role in every student's career career the preparation for examination should actually begin from the first day of the academic year one should prepare for the examinations in a planned manner you should prepare your road map for the preparation syllabus should be covered regularly and thoroughly all the lessons should be revised as frequently as possible preparing notes for every topic will help you a lot at the time of examination just you can go through the your notebook just you can go for a glance take regular tests to assess performance levels this is very important note down all doubts and get them clarified with the help of senior students and teachers don't skip any topic one should be familiar with the pattern of question paper and weight is given for the concepts also try to solve the previous question papers take good diet and maintain proper health take plenty of water take part in games so that one can get back to studies with a fresher brain planning preparation and presentation will enable to achieve good credits in the examinations that's true let me read uh, yes uh, how you are planning should be how one should prepare for the examinations let's go through the uh, paragraph examinations play an important role in every student's career the preparation for examination should actually begin from the first day of the academic year okay one should prepare for the examinations in a planned manner you should prepare a road map for the preparation and syllabus should be covered regularly and thoroughly all the lessons should be revised as frequently as possible preparing notes for every topic will help you a lot take regular tests to assess to estimate your performance levels to count your performance levels how well have i done 
Note out all doubts and get them clarified with the help of senior students and teachers. Don't skip any topic. One should be familiar with the pattern of question paper. This is very, very important. Uh, most of the students neglect this part. One should be familiar with the pattern of question paper, that is scheme of question paper, and weight is given for the concepts. Try to solve the previous question papers. Take good diet and maintain proper health. Take plenty of water. Take part in games so that one can get back to studies with a fresher brain. Yes, sir. don't be a bookworm. Yes, sir. just a, a kind of recreation is also needed. Take part in games so that one can get back to studies with a fresher brain. Here, I want to give three P's. The first P is planning. The second P is preparation. The third P is a presentation. So planning, preparation, and presentation will enable to achieve good credits in the examinations. So you should be careful about three Ps, planning, preparation, and presentation. Here I'm not giving uh, any flow chart for this uh, because uh, I have shown, yes, first of all, you have to chalk out, you have to note down. Yeah, yeah before going to make an attempt uh, for writing or uh, describing a process, uh, just you have to note down what are the different steps that are involved. Write down on a blank sheet of paper, then check it uh, whether the sequence is correct or not. You, yes, when you satisfy with the sequence of events uh, or the steps that are followed uh, in, uh, in, uh, uh, in a sequential manner, just then uh, make an attempt to uh, develop or generate uh, all those steps in the form of a uh, cohesive paragraph. Right, that is uh, the uh, best way I think. Of that. When you come to the next one, give instructions to your brother on how to make a cup of tea. Yeah, everybody likes tea, no doubt. May, yes, look at the title, making a cup of tea. And one more thing, everybody likes tea and it is a popular drink. And when you come to know how simple and easy uh, to, make, uh, to prepare a cup of tea, uh, to make a cup of tea, yes, it, making a cup of tea is not a big task. It is very simple. Uh, let us talk about the paragraph. Let us, uh, let us see what is given in the paragraph. Tea is a popular drink, yes. It's less expensive and refreshing. Making a cup of tea is a very simple and easy thing. So how can we prepare a cup of tea? First, look, uh, first you take a kettle and pour the required quantity of water in it. You cannot pour uh, two jugs or three jugs. Yes, you should know. How, what the quantity of water that is required. So uh, be, before that, yes, you are preparing tea for two people or three people or four people. Yes, that is very important. Uh, the, you should uh, uh, you, you should bear it in uh, in your mind. Yes, bear it in your mind for how many people are you going to serve uh, this tea? That is very important. So depending on that, just you have to. Uh, take uh, the required quantity of water. Next, place it on your stove to boil the water for a few minutes. The water has to be boiled properly. Yes, that is very important. Otherwise, you won't get taste. After that, you put some tea leaves or tea dust in the boiled water. Then, continue to boil it until the water has uh, turned reddish. Next, you remove the kettle from the stove and pour the liquid into cups through a sieve. Okay. Uh, when you use a sieve, just the dust will uh, remain there, only uh, pure, uh, uh, that is, uh, tea water will uh, come down into the jug. After that, you add some sugar into each cup of tea. Mix a little hot milk and stir it with a spoon. You may add ginger or lemon juice instead of milk, according to your taste. Suppose if you are, want to have lemon juice, you can use lemon drops, lemon juice. 
yeah, you can use some ginger also. Yes, that depends on your taste. Then the cup of tea is ready to be served. That's all. Yeah, look at that. Uh, when, when I follow the sequence uh, first, uh, next, uh, after that, then next, uh, then look at these words. Uh, actually, these words will help us uh, to develop the sequence. Uh, that's why just uh, I have given them uh, in uh, uh, red. First, you take a kettle and pour the required quantity of water in it. Next, place it on a stove to boil the water for a few minutes. The water has to be boiled properly. After that, you put some tea leaves or tea dust in the boiled water. Then continue to boil it until the water has turned reddish. Next, you remove the kettle from the stove and pour the liquid into two cups through a sieve. Into cups through a sieve. After that, you add some sugar into each cup of tea. Mix a little hot milk and stir it. You may add ginger or lemon juice instead of milk according to your taste. Then the cup of tea is ready to be served. This is the process. Now let us uh, see another uh, uh, example. Describe how one can make a glass of orange juice. Well, oranges are uh, nutritious. They give wonderful nutrition. Let us see the process. Orange juice is good for health. Making orange juice is an easy process. First, get your fresh, juicy oranges and wash them thoroughly. This is important. Take a knife and cut each of them into two equal halves. Put each piece on a squeezer and press the piece gently against the squeezer. If the halves are pressed hard to extract more juice, it may lead to bitterness in taste. So you should be very careful. Press the half against the squeezer gently. Don't press it hard because it leads to bitterness in taste. The juice in the fruit is slowly collected in the bowl under the squeezer. Do the same with all the orange halves till the entire juice is collected in the bowl. Don't mix water because it loses its taste. Take it into a separate jug, add ice cubes, sugar or pepper powder according to your taste. Stir till ice cubes are melted and sugar is dissolved. Delicious, cool orange juice is ready. So here, my point is, uh, my point is, uh, mm, Suppose uh, this is uh, when a squeezer is there. Suppose you can use uh, juicers also. If a machine is there, yes, if you are uh, using a machine to get a, a glass of orange juice, uh, a mix, when you use a mixture juicer uh, for getting a uh, getting a glass of uh, for getting a glass of orange juice, then uh, you do one thing: you have to peel uh, the outer layer. And you have to remove that uh, white uh, fibrous part also. Yes, uh, 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 divide the fruit into flakes uh, and then cut the fruit into uh, small pieces and discard the seeds from it. Keep them in the jar. And then, uh, yes, uh, if you switch on the juice, uh, yes, uh, this, the juice will be orange juice will be ready. Yes, you can take with the help of your sieve, you can take it into a bowl and then you can pour it into glasses. You can add uh, the same way, you can add uh, ice cubes or uh, you can use uh, uh, some sugar also. If you are very much interested to have some pepper powder, yes, you can use that one also. It depends on your taste and uh, no doubt, delicious, uh, cool orange juice is ready to serve. This is the process. Okay, I describe how one can make a glass of orange juice. Right, when you let us take another example, describe how you and your friends made arrangements for the college day function. Here, in a, here, some hymns are supplied, but don't expect the same in your examinations. Actually, it was given in the beginning. I talked about it in the beginning. Your hints will not be given in the examination. 
describe how you and your friends made arrangements for the college day function right arrangements for the college day okay right here look at the paragraph our college day was celebrated on september 10 various committees were constituted and the work was entrusted them there were 12 students and one lecturer in each group our principal conducted a meeting with all the class representatives and lecturers to decide the list of guests reception committee prepared invitations and distributed them to all games were conducted by the physical director literary and cultural clubs of the college conducted competitions in the respective fields all the prizes were donated by alumni we decorated the stage one day before the event on the d day on the important day our principal hoisted the flag in the morning the main function was organized in the event the premises was looking fabulous with glitters of lighting our mla and the district collector were invited for the function the program began with the principal's report the guests gave us valuable messages later there was a grand distribution of prizes it was followed by delicious dinner and cultural programs student volunteers extended commendable service and made it a memorable day so all these are uh, the uh, steps that are involved yes sir. this is the way how they plan to uh, conduct their uh, college day so what are the arrangements how the arrangements were done for uh, uh, conducting a college day function or college day celebration so these are the steps involved okay let me read uh, i uh, uh, let me read uh, another one that is uh, <clears throat> describe how your elder brother got a driving license yeah this is a uh, for everything there is a process actually we every day daily we attend so many things we do so many things uh, yeah but uh, yes uh, we unknowingly yes it is there in our subconscious uh, the process is there in our subconscious uh, and uh, yes uh, we are accustomed to follow the process uh, but here for this the, the same here we know all these things uh, but just simply we are bringing them into the form of a paragraph that's a uh, describe how your elder brother got a driving license look at the points given here look at the paragraph in order to get a driving license one should appear physically before the licensing authority my elder brother appeared physically with the filled in application form before the authority he carried with him all the required documents including his date of birth certificate medical certificate photo and address proof file he paid a chalan for attending a computerized test regarding road signs signals and general rules he passed the test he was issued a learner's license at first that is uh, you often you we find a uh, 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 on the window pane of the cars or uh, scooters uh, yes we find uh, that is uh, l there is a Uh, there is a you find a letter l in red letters that is uh, that indicates that he is a learner and he has a learn, uh, le learner's license only okay he had a good driving practice and then applied for the permanent license after a month it is mandatory that one should apply for the permanent license after 30 days from the date of uh, issuing learner's license and before 6 months that should be done before 6 months otherwise the validity will be lapsed he took a driving test and completed it successfully and he got the permanent driving license by post okay these are the steps involved in getting a driving license now let us go to another one yes i want to talk about uh, uh, yes uh, yes what are the <laughs> different uh, measures that are to be taken uh, on the before the onset of the public examination just you have to give you have to uh, you, you are supposed to advise your 
younger brother or your friend about some practical measures that should be taken a couple of days before the onset of the public examinations. So measures uh, that are to be taken before examinations, just I have taken a, a small title, as the title should not be lengthy, as measures before examinations. Okay, measures, yes, that should, that should be yes also, measures before examinations. Get your hall ticket before two, two days before the examination, before two days of the examination. Yes, two days before the examination. Check your name, registered number, center code, and address of the examination center, schedule of examination, and other particulars that are given in the hall ticket. Make it convenient to visit the examination center one day before to get an idea to plan the means of transport for reaching the examination center and estimate the time taken for reaching it. Get a photo start copy of your hall ticket, keep your stationery, bus pass, money ready. Take the easily digestible food and rest well the night before the examination. So these are the uh, measures that are to be followed. That is, Yes, uh, uh, yes uh, receive your hall ticket two days before the examination. That is first thing. Check your name, your registered number, and the center code, and the address of the examination center, and the schedule of the examination. Yes, check all these things. Uh, yes, uh, whether all these particulars are given in your hall ticket or not, check them. And then do one thing. Make it possible, make it convenient to visit the examination center one day before your examination. Why? So that you will get an idea. Yes, so you can plan the means of transport for reaching the examination center and you can estimate how much time will it take to reach the examination hall. Get a photo start copy of your hall ticket. Keep your stationery. What by stationery means here? Pen, pencil, and other things. Uh, you get uh, take your bus pass and uh, money also. Uh, make everything ready. And uh, that night, uh, before going to the examination that night, uh, is uh, take easily digestible food and uh, take rest. Uh, that is th these are the measures that are to be followed before uh, going to examinations. Uh, yes. Sir two days, a couple of days before the onset of the examinations, you have to follow all these measures. So, yes, the, the, well, so far we have discussed a uh, 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 nine uh, uh, process, uh, nine models, okay. Here, uh, before going to conclude uh, this topic, just I would like to give you some important points. First thing that is, uh, use a suitable title. That is first thing. Don't write point wise, write in a paragraph. The third one, maintain sequence. The fourth point, use correct point of view. Point of view means here, use a second person. And the four, next point that is use appropriate tense. This is also very important and use a passive kind of structure, passive structure, and use imperative sentences also. Use proper connectors or linkers. So when you, when they, they're describing a process, yes, you have to remember these points. A suitable title, don't, don't write point-wise, write in a paragraph, maintain sequence, use correct point of view, Use appropriate tense, use passive voice, and use imperative sentences. Use uh, right connectors or right linkers, proper linkers. So these are the important points. Just I want to talk. To, I want to give. Yes, uh, and uh, here is an assignment for you. Dear students, describe the process as uh, mm, try it. You please try uh, try these uh, uh, propositions. Uh, yes, uh, what are the propositions given here? Uh, yes, so opening a savings account. That is one uh, idea. Yes, uh, how will you 
open an account in the bank how, how will you open a savings account in the bank just uh, develop a, a paragraph yes following all the steps uh, uh, and maintain the coherence also sequence also the second one prepare for a job interview yes how will you prepare for a job interview one write down all the uh, steps that are involved in your preparation for going uh, to attend a job interview and the next one making a bouquet suppose you want to uh, develop or you want to uh, prepare a bouquet you want to make a bouquet so for that yes uh, what will you do yes uh, what are the steps that are involved in making a bouquet just think out make a rough plan yes what are the steps involved just write down them write down yes uh, and next uh, bring all these uh, steps in the form of a paragraph next making a cup of coffee preparing a herbarium yes herbarium yes uh, science students they prepare herbarium they present a herbarium uh, record uh, at the time of examination so uh, prepare a, uh, preparing a herbarium yes you can uh, describe the process of preparing a herbarium also yes so all these are the topics given for given for you uh, just uh, please uh, try them yes uh, try to develop uh, uh, paragraphs uh, uh yes this is uh, um that's all for this class and uh, um, i hope you got uh, uh, important and uh, relevant ideas regarding describing a process thank you all bye